I get help. Specialists from Paris, I'll fly them in. It's too late. And besides, take my advice, madame. Say nothing about it. My husband is dying and I'm to keep quiet. You have no choice, madame. What do you mean, doctor? Saint-Jean is a fishing village. Most every men are fishermen or sailors. And they travel all over the world. Hmm? And what were you trying to say? <laughs> Well, this is not the first time we've had unusual and unidentified diseases here. You mean you don't even know what it is? Oh, however, now look, you haven't been near him or touched him. So I don't believe you are infected. But if I was to report you or his death, you would be quarantined here for a year at least. Oh. Laura? Yes, Pierre. I'm here. Laura. Oh, please, no, please, be careful. Don't, don't, don't go near him. I heard Boucher. He is right. Go away quickly. There is nothing here for you. Oh, don't say it. Don't, don't. Remember Christina Rossetti? Her poem. When I am dead, my darling... Sing no sad songs for me. I've been having myself a vacation in Paris and had driven down to La Havre to see the Ile de France off. There was a reason, of course. Her name was Gloria. I'd run into her in Paris and we'd had a ball. Now the party was over, Gloria was sailing home. Honey, I gotta go. No, no. No, no, baby, I gotta go oh, to the ship. there's no one like you in Cedar Rapids, no one. Oh, no, you don't really mean that, do you? No, but like I do. Yeah. No, I gotta go. Oh. Now, look, you write to me now, you hear? That won't help one bit. No, I suppose it won't, but goodbye. They were shouting, going ashore in three languages. I was thinking how nice it would be to stay with Gloria and say goodbye in the one way she knew best. But the next minute, I was getting a big hello. It was one of the ship's officers, Jacques Lemaire, a guy I'd toured the Paris Bistros with. We'd met when we tried for the same gal, and both struck out. Oh, my, quelle surprise. This is incredible. Only a little while ago, I thought, oh, that Mike were only here. <laughs> oh, Jacques, one of me. A little while ago, I was not thinking of you one bit. <laughs> oh, but this concerns a woman, too, but with such sad trouble, oh. a country woman of yours. Mike, would you see her? No. She is remarkably rich, I hear, and very attractive. Huh? No, 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 not a chance, old buddy. I gotta get back to Paris. There's a oh, my God, I only wish for you to see her for one minute. She's so pretty for me, Dob, and so sad. Yeah, but the boat Mike, is gonna go. you have time. I only wish for you to see her. Hear her, Mike, please do this for uh, Jacques, me. It's I very but, but, uh, Jacques, Mike, please. It will do much to help you relax, madame. Dr. Nuge. This is Monsieur Hammer. May he speak to her? I have given her a sedative. She should not be upset. Oh. Monsieur Hammer is a private detective, a very good friend of mine. He may be able to help her. I think, Monsieur Hammer, that Madame needs the help of another field of specialization. Well, that's just fine, Doc. You take good care of it now you're here. You're a detective? Maybe that's right, eh? Please, may I talk to him alone? Uh -oh. Sit down. Thank you. You're an American, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's right. Help me get back home. Well, I think the captain is quite qualified to do that. I'll pay you anything you wish. Uh, no, you don't understand, Ms. Lourdes. You see, I'm on vacation. Paris, you know. Mr. Hammer, if you don't help me, I'll never reach the United States. Uh, oh, why not? He won't let me. He wants me to join him. Uh, and who's he? My husband. Oh, <laughs> What you need is a good lawyer. Is he any good divorce attorney? My husband is dead. 
So that's the way it started. I was thinking of Paris and the hotel room I had looking over the Champs Elysees and of the cabarets I still had to visit. I was thinking I had no clothing but what was on my back. Jacques met every objection. I could get whatever I needed aboard ship. And then I started to think of that unfinished goodbye I had left in a cabin on a deck. You think you can get me something on uh, a deck? But of course, my girl, <laughs> mon vieux garçon. Well, uh, honey, uh, I gotta work, doll. Oh, um, I... Now, look, you go upstairs and bathe yourself in the sun, and as soon as I finish with my client, why, I'll uh, join you at the pool. She's very pretty, I heard. Oh, uh, no, business, honey, strictly business. Hurry, Monica. Oh, honey, you know I will. You know it. What'd they tell you? I'd rather you tell me. I know what they said, and it's true. But I have been under a very great strain. But, Mr. Kettler... Please, the name's Mike. Mike, as surely as I see your face now, I've seen the face of my husband again and again this past week, everywhere I go. When was the first time you saw him? In Paris. 24 hours after his death, I was having lunch near Des Isles, a cafe. He pressed his face against the window, watching me. Then he disappeared into the crowd. He looked white and drawn. It looked strange, but it was Pierre. It was. I'd know him anywhere. You could be mistaken. I thought so at first, but then after I saw him again and again, the same face, the same honking eyes. Well, you've been thinking about him, Laura. You know, it's possible you could be imagining. It isn't my imagination, Mike. It isn't. I've seen him aboard this ship. What? Last night after we left the harbor. I, I wanted a breath of fresh air and I went to this window, drew aside the drapes. Mike, he was looking right at me. I screamed, but he didn't go away. He remained there, looking at me, demanding. I'm so sorry. Why should he demand anything of you, Lord? I don't know. What happened then? Nothing. It just disappeared. Miss Lawrence, I want to get something straight. Now, you know, when you hired me, you took on a detective. You know that, don't you? Yes. All right, now, in order for us to get somewhere, I want to go back and start at the beginning. Now, you say your husband died, yeah? Yes. All right, now, what I want to know is how, when, and where. Now, the first question, when did he die? A week ago last Wednesday. Right, where? Oh, please. Where? Where did he die? In Brittany, in St. Jean, a little village. His home. Please stop. Right, now, the last question, Laura. How did he die? I don't know. How did he die? It was sudden. The doctor said it was his heart. No time to get specialists. And a real fast burial, huh? Uh-huh. This man in the picture with you, your husband? Yes. It was taken two months before. Mm. Where are you going? Well, if that man's on the Ile de France, I'll find him. But he's dead! He's dead! Well, if that's the case, Laura. You'll have to handle that yourself. What are you saying? Well, next time that old ghost show up, just try something simple. Just say, I'm sorry. It might work. There were a number of possibilities. Among them was the one Jacques suggested. Namely, that Laura Lawrence was not in full possession of her senses. Jacques had insisted that I remain on board to make sure Laura didn't get in the way of the ship's personnel, nor do herself harm. I didn't like the idea of playing nursemaid, even if I was getting paid for the job. I decided to try and earn it in my own way. 
even though I expected to find nothing. Mr. Miller. <clears throat> oh, yes, Doctor, come on in. Officer Lamel said you wished to see me. Yeah, that's right. I've been going through the passport to the passengers here. No, Monsieur Lorenz, and no one that resembles you. No, no, nothing at all. Doctor, I'd like to ask you something. The taking care of a woman with an overactive imagination isn't exactly my kind of work. It's more than imagination. Madame Lorenz is ill. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, shock and all that. But why? Why should she keep seeing the accusing ghost of her husband? Well, the workings of the human mind, they, they are very complex. Uh, who can give a specific reason? Possibly a, a sense of guilt. We never do succeed in escaping the past imagined hurts. Yes, I imagine, Doc. I suppose, just suppose, that her guilt had a very real basis. Are you suggesting that Madame Lorenz feels guilty about the death of her husband? Or not feels, Doctor. Very probably is. Hmm. What's the matter? Well, I, I just came from Madame Lorenz, and uh, she said she had difficulty in sleeping, and I gave her tablets. And she insisted I leave some for later, too. What do you want? Today's bargain day. Hammer's escort service. A nice, brisk walk around the deck. How about it? You said I should beg Pierre's pardon. Why? Did I say that? You think I have something to do with his death, don't you? Oh, Laura. No matter what you may think, I'm on your side. But you gotta let me help you. I've tried to, Mike. Pierre does want something from me. He wants me to join him. He said we should always be together. You know what I want? I want us to get out of here. Now, they say there's nothing quite so good for what ails you as a fresh sea breeze. Now, what do you say? Oh, no, thank you. Okay. But if you don't, I'll stay right here and bore you to death with conversation. So help me, I will. <laughs> All right. Come on. Whoever said it first was right. The sight of all that water, the clean smell of it, and all that sun, it had its effect on her. But it didn't seem to do much for Gloria. <laughs> Mike. Hmm? No, 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 we're not gonna talk about it now. Not now, not at all. You just remember you're a very attractive woman on a very nice ocean voyage. That's all I'm to think about? That's all. Well, that and the gala masquerade the night before we dock in New York. Well, that uh, girl a moment ago, I have a feeling she expects you to take her. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you see, Laura, I'm an extremely generous man. Maybe I'll take the both of you. <laughs> Obviously a mistake. You could hear the British lion roaring a mile away. That last attempt to call her a ghost did it. If I had any doubts about Laura seeing things, they were gone. I made up my mind to quit worrying about her dead husband and just see to it that she got off the ship safely. It was the last night out before pulling into New York. All the tourists were out making a last desperate stab at fun. Fun tonight meant going to the gala masquerade in the main ballroom. Come in. Oh, excuse me. But this is the right compartment, isn't it? The advice you gave me the other day, I decided to take it. I'd like very much to go to the ship's party. Well, well, well. This is quite a change, isn't it? I mean, you've been in incommunicado for the past two days. Well, everyone must have been right. They must have been. It's all been my imagination. Pierre hasn't been around lately? How ridiculous you must have believed me. Well, let's just say you made me wonder. Will you take me to Gala, Mike? Princess, I'd be charmed. Do you have to change? Change? Oh, you mean costume. 
No, I'm afraid not. This is all I've got with me. I'm going to have to go disguised as a private detective. You look wonderful. Do you think your friend would mind sharing you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well, uh, give me about 15 minutes, huh? All right. I'll meet you both on deck outside this companionway. Yes, ma'am. An idea for both of us swim together and I took both of you now. Uh, Mike, right? you promise. Oh, well, honey. She's taken enough of your time, and I've been looking forward to this party. Oh, but Chicky, I've got to work. It's my job. She's out to get you, don't you understand? No, believe me, baby. Look, she's doing the brave bit now. Nothing's changed between us. Oh. Mike, she'll steal you. Oh, no, she won't. There's no ghost. Somebody is trying to kill you, and I want to know why. It was Pierre, I swear. And Pierre is dead, huh? <laughs> All right, let's start from the beginning. How did he die? <gasps> Who was the attending physician? Dr. Boucher. I don't remember his first name. He lived in Saint-Jean. And this Boucher character told you that your husband died of a heart attack, oh, huh? Stop it. Did he? Stop it. I can't. So you say your husband is dead. How did he die? All right. All right. I'll tell you. He died of plague. Plague? <laughs> What are you talking about? What kind of a plague? I don't know. Dr. Boucher said it was terribly contagious, and I had to get out of the village, or I'd have to be quarantined there. And you paid this Boucher character off to keep quiet about this? No, no. Dr. Boucher took care of everything. He took care of everything, huh? Yeah, but you were willing to take a chance and gamble with Eliza when you came close to, weren't you? Believe me, Mike. I haven't had one moment of peace. Sure, Dr. Yeah. Boucher took care of everything. I couldn't have time to think. I didn't even see Pierre buried. You mean you didn't go to the funeral? No, even Pierre, he seemed to want it that way. Please, don't go away from me now. Now, you stay in this room. Don't you go out of it, you understand? You come back. That man outside is no ghost. He can't walk through walls. He's fresh in blood. Now, you lock this door and don't open it for anybody but me. Do you understand that? Take this key. Do you understand? Yes. All right. First off, I had Dr. Nuge, the ship's doctor, send off some cables to France. I had my fingers crossed that the answers would come back in time. The other job was much harder. It would take much longer. I knew our ghost wasn't a regular passenger on board ship. So far, no stowaway had been turned up. And that left the toughest job of all, the crew. And the Ile de France had a lot of them. Come in. Mike, the party's almost over and I'm not having a bit of fun. Oh, Gloria, honey, you know I want to be with you. Honey, you know that, don't you? But not now, now. No, no, no. Look, you go out and you find somebody to dance with you. Now, you shouldn't have any trouble. You won't be jealous. No, yeah, well, yes, but uh, you see, tomorrow we're landing. And from then on, why, I'm going to spend every minute I can with you. Every minute. I'm not going to let you out of my sight for one single minute. But tonight's the last night I'm bored. Yeah, well, uh, you just keep thinking about tomorrow, honey. Oh, Goodbye. Mike. <laughs> The next morning, we pulled into New York Harbor, but I wasn't on deck to greet my old town. I was still holed up in Jacques' cabin, trying to stay awake. Jacques had officers alerted to look for anyone resembling Pierre Laurence leaving the ship. As I expected, we found nothing. So I kept working on my dwindling list of crew members. Well, that's about it, Doc. So far, we got the list down to about, uh... Come in. What to say, Doc? Well, according to the authorities, there has been nowhere remotely a plague in Saint-Jean or Brittany for 75 years. There is no doctor in Saint-Jean by the name of Boucher. Pierre Lorenz, nowhere recorded as having died. Where can I find Jacques now, Doc? Probably on the bridge. Yeah. What, what does this mean? It means that we know all about our ghost. I 
requested permission of the deck officer to talk to Jacques. Jacques. Jacques, can I talk to you for a minute? Of course, my. Now, where? You can step outside. Most of the crew and the rest of the company have sailed on the eel before, haven't they? The majority are old employees, yes. Yeah, well, I checked each one of them back two voyages. Up to that time, Pierre Lorenz was very much with his wife. What did you find? Well, one of them checked out except two. Here, uh, Dupre, assistant engineer, third officer. Etienne? Oh, I know him. He was on the Liberté. He just transferred over this voyage. Uh-huh. Well, that leaves a waiter, Louis Mathieu. You know him? Mathieu, Mathieu. No, I've never heard of him, but there are a lot of waiters. Not like this one. You know where I can find him? The maitre d' would know. Yeah. But, Mike, what has a waiter to do with this? That's what I'm going to find out. the maitre d' in the lobby. He told me I'd find Louis Mathieu on duty in the main dining room where preparations were being made for a special shore party. Mathieu would be at station three, just inside the main door at the foot of the stairs. Are you Louis Mathieu? Monsieur? You speak English as well as I do, Louis. Now knock it off. Qu'est-ce que vous dites, monsieur? You're not going to play footsie with me, are you, Louis? Je ne comprends pas footsie. Footsie, come on, knock it off, Louis. We're going to take a visit to the cops. Les flics! I got everything that I want. Ah! Right here. There, come on, Chuck. The rest of it was easy. Part of a great big grisly hoax, including a phony doctor and a phony death. Designed by Pierre to get rid of his wife and collect her loot. If Pierre didn't succeed in driving Laura Laurence out of her mind or to suicide, then he decided he'd finish off the job himself. In France, they will know what to do with him. Sorry. I know it was hard to take. I'll be all right, Mike. No more ghosts? No more ghosts. I'm afraid I spoiled your vacation. Oh, what the heck. There'll always be a Paris. Oh, uh, excuse me. I've got an appointment. Oh, yes, she is lovely. So are you. Did you say your chauffeur was waiting? 